Well, sure, we're all enjoying uh, <laughs> relatively milder temperatures compared to what we've felt over the past few days, but don't get too used to it before long. Mother Nature will no doubt crank up the cold once again. Or crank down the cold, crank as, down as the, the case may be. <laughs> and when that happens, most of us have a warm place that we can call home. But there are so many others right here on Delmarva who don't have that luxury. Can you imagine having to sleep in the biting cold that we've just recently had? Nobody should have to know what that's like. Some don't, thanks to organizations like Hope and Life Outreach, or HALO. Gerald Hall is HALO's Youth at Risk Administrator. Thank you for coming in this afternoon. Thank you for having me. There really is a need for this, isn't there? Yes, there is. Um, in 2012, we housed 15 homeless children. In 2016, that number jumped to 117. We are talking children. Just children. Oh my goodness. Yes. I, I don't. That's where our folk, the youth at risk, focus is right. on the children. Wow. Yeah. I don't think yes. people actually realize that, you know, it's children when we think of it's homeless people here in the yes. Salisbury area. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, HALO really obviously has seen a need just over the past couple of weeks. Well, the past couple of years, there's a jump of 112 in four years, just mm -hmm. children. I spoke with Jackie Deal. She's the Homeless Project Coordinator with Wicomico County. Just here in Wicomico County, we have 545 homeless children. So that's a year-round need, not just the last couple of days when it's been cold. No, it's year-round and it's growing. It's a growing need. And, and of course there's lots more adults as, as well. Yes, of mm -hmm. course. Goodness, there's there's a lot when it comes to meeting these needs. What what can you do throughout the year to help with, with a population like this? Well, HALA provides shelters. They also have a day center facility where they can come mm -hmm. and try to stay warm during the day. And just now we're opening a youth at risk program, which is what I will be working with. Yeah. We are going to try to work with the children to teach them basic life skills and get them ready to go to work or go to college and hopefully in the cycle of homelessness. It's because it is a cycle, isn't it? Is. it? And, and you're, you want to step in and, and break that cycle. Yes. So what age are we talking about when you're talking about children and the, the at-risk children that you're talking about? We're working with a broad range of children ages 5 to 25. Mm -hmm. And there'll be different activities and programs for the different ages. So when you say teaching them life skills, what kind of, what kind of things are you talking about? Well, the children. We're right. basically be trying to work with them and build a trust. The middle-aged children and the high school children will be working with them on basic skills like decision making, goal setting, how to do your homework, how to look for college, how to prepare for jobs. And the older 18 to 25 will be working with getting prepared to college or getting them some job skill training so that hopefully they can get into the work environment and get on their own. You know, I think a lot of us take for granted that, um, you know, we grow up with the knowledge that we can do this, we can go to school, we can do all of that. Would you say that these children are a little more disenfranchised and maybe it's harder to kind of convince them that they can get out of this cycle after seeing their parents? I do think so. Um, and some have the will to do it. and. Mm -hmm. We just kind of want to give them that push to help them get on the right track. So, A, thank you for doing that. Thank you. Very much for doing that. Is there something that the community can do to help support what you're trying to accomplish? We are always looking for volunteers. Volunteers run HALO, and we really appreciate all the volunteers that we get. Of course, um, financial donations. We just purchased the building, the warehouse where the Harvest Minister used to be. We just purchased that building, so now we have room for the youth center. Um, the volunteers will have to go through a background check, right? But you know, financial support and just keep us in your prayers. So, as a volunteer, will you teach us what to do? Of course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. there's, there's training to it. Yes, there's kind of training. things to watch out for: what to do, what not to do. Yes. Now, this at-risk youth program is just getting started. Yes, right? it was actually going to have a soft start on Monday, January 16th. Okay. Just, but you've know. seen the success of Halo in general firsthand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Tell us about that. I'm actually a new employee to Halo, but I have been working with Halo in a different capacity for the last four years, and it's just amazing the things that they do. I find out new things that they do all the time in different areas. It's not just the thrift store or right. 
the shelter, they have a Journey of Hope transitional program, and now they're working with the children, and they're just amazing. So if we know somebody that, that needs help, we know somebody uh, that is homeless right now, that, that has kids that, that could use the benefit of, of what you're willing to do, how can we make the connection? How can we get them to you? You can refer them to the thrift store. The contact, the number is 410-742-9356, and okay. then they get contacted or set up to have an appointment with the shelter to get set up to go to the shelter and the day facility, and they'll get all that information. And then once they're set up there with the children, they'll be referred to me. Gotcha. Good luck with that. I think it's going to be a wonderful success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, how All about right. That? And if you would like more information on Halo and their new program for at-risk youth, just go to our website, delmarvalife.com.